Hey, it's Richard Meller here. Some of you know me. I wanted to make a few comments about the strike and student movement wave in 2010. <clears throat> it was statewide here in California. Now, I, I was up at Cal and it was through that my activity up at Cal, that um, University of California in Berkeley, that I got to know Jack Gerson and both of him and I were very much worked together in helping to build that movement uh, along with a lot of others, but um, we were very uh, active in it. And um, Jack was a, a, a teacher, and so he had more connections and just was a little closer to that element than myself. I, I was retired. I was a blue blue collar worker, a local public utility, and it was it was formerly in AFSME. I was still in a left organisation at the time. We were trying, well, actually, not an established one. We were trying to uh, build something. But anyway, uh, um, I, I remember my, f I, I, the thing about those students, a lot of them, here we are 13 years on, many of them like uh, 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 university, kids at university, uh, initially they dabble in Marxist politics, militant politics, uh, revolutionary ideas and so forth. For most of them, particularly the ones from the middle class backgrounds, when they're done with that, and their class uh, position and the connections they have through it, they, 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 that's the end of that for them. Some of the others have ended up in the lower levels of the union bureaucracy, but they were in one, some of them were in a left organization that was since been abandoned, ab gone. And, uh, but most of them will, um, when, they, when, they, when they tire of it and when they get out of the university milieu, uh, find themselves a nice, a little niche in capitalist society and be very liberal and all sorts of stuff like that. But I, I wanted to just ex share for you, for, for, uh, for, for, for those watching, just to how all of the reading, all of the theory, all of the, and many of them thought they were Marxist intellectuals and so forth. One white guy I remember in particular who thought he was a genius, uh, tried to lecture me on how to fight racism, this petty bourgeois white kid. But anyway, um, I remember the first night I got up there, there was a meeting and it's like those, one of those halls where at the universities, they, you know, the, the, the lecturers at the bottom, the stairs go up and the chairs go up and you look down and they, and they were, was, they were up the stage there. I think it was my first meeting and I got up to speak and uh, contribute to something. So I stood up, <clears throat> the guy, Latino guy on stage. Uh, uh, I uh, was very, very rude and condescending to me. I know what it was. I stood up. It was a toxic white male aggression. You know, I'm centering, I'm centering whiteness. And of course, uh, coming from a union black background, that's what you do. You get up to speak. You speak to the chair and you rise. You stand up, whether you're black, white, gay, whatever. That's what you do. Anyway, I let that go. And there was a lot of that up there. I, as much as I admired uh, the youth in their... Um, uh, 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 their tenacity and their audacity and everything else. The universe is not the workplace. It's a different ball game in the workplace. And many of them are there now. And as I say, some of them are in the lower levels of the union bureaucracy. And that's exactly where I figured they'd end up. But anyway, I wanted to give the example, uh, just one example of the lack of class consciousness and why class consciousness and theory, of course, but class consciousness is so important. There were, at the university there, they had they have a cafeteria and there were some small businesses that provide you know lunch and whatever up there at the upper cow, and the two of two the the university had given, um, it given a, a contract or a, a franchise to a, 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 a rather major uh, a, a company that was involved in the hospitality industry or restaurant industry. I can't remember who it was, and so. Um, the two two of the owners, the, the small business people, one was Asian, I think she was Vietnamese, the other one was uh, Latino, and he, um, oh, I keep putting my finger, my thumb in the way, and he was, um, they they called a strike, so that that, all, that immediately the young young folks they jumped on that, and there was a strike. They had a strike for a week, and I went. I remember going up there, and I went in into the into the area where the cafes are, and I say all these young radicals. And they're all gathered around the, the two bosses, the, the Vietnamese one and the, the Mexican one, or the Latino one. I think it was a burrito place. So I walk in, and of course, you know, 
I, 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 some of these budding leaders of these movements, there was a lot of Latinos involved, uh, 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 and these budding wannabe academics or potential academics, you know, they want to lead their ethnic group and everything else. They're all trying to get slots for their little ethnic group, like in the trade union movement when you get the, the, the black coalition of black trade unionists, the CLO, the Asian thing and everything. People, opportunists, use their uh, discrimination against their ethnic group or whatever, or their gender, uh, in order to advance themselves within the labor bureaucracy. I've seen it all, I've seen it, I can spot them a mile off. So anyway, I walk in there and, um, and uh, so I see them all hanging around the buses. And here am I, the uh, you know um, the older white guy. I, I, act, I got a resolution passed and some money for them from my union. And I did have some respect for them, and I respected some of them, a lot of them as well. But they, they really typical of young people, and especially young petty bourgeois, middle class or upper middle class people. They're arrogant and think they know more than they do. And I walked in there, and I look around. They're all hanging around the bus, and I see these five or six guys sitting at a table, brown-skinned fellas. And so, I, Latinos they were. And so I walk over there, I knew who they were. They were the workers in that burrito place. I, I, I didn't, I just had to take one look at them. So I walk over there and I sat down, I get to chatting with them. And I say, well, you're on strike, eh? I said, uh, oh, I said, uh, do you guys, get, you guys gonna get paid? And they said, uh, they said, well, well uh, they said, well, we don't know, we don't know yet. And I said, well, what, well, can't you go and get a, a job for a week or do something for a week, you know, to, a, to, to, to compensate you? And they said, no, he told us if we, if we, we got to be every day. If we're going to get paid, we got to be here every day. So I said, oh, that's a bit of a bummer. At that time, they weren't sure if they'd get paid. I heard afterwards that they did get paid and they got paid half time. But the point is this, after the way I'd been treated initially by some, as a white guy, in particular, and as an older person and a trade unionist, is is um, they never voted to strike. This was a boss's strike because they 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 didn't like the fact that they were being undermined by the university bosses, who brought in a larger chain. I think it was a chain, Tullys or something, Tillys or Tullys. And so I was chatting with him. I, I just headed. I made a beeline from. I knew exactly who they were, and they accepted me. They didn't look at me as oh, he's centering whiteness. Oh, he's a white guy. Oh, he's this. They, we chatted away. I told him I, I'm a retired uh, uh, guy. I worked for the water company. We we had so much in common, which is what workers do, and and so uh, it's just an example uh, of the naivete is that the word of 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 the of students at times the it uh, and the, the how class bloody matters and i found out later on that they did get paid they got paid for half time but my 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 position in that was that the that they not that we should be supporting and uh, of course we should support small business and uh, uh, people like that against corporations and everything else but my position in there uh, uh, on that issue, a particular issue, was that the university, those cafeterias should be public sector. They should be owned by the university. The workers in, in, in them should be public sector workers with union rights and union wages and benefits, just like the everybody else at Cal. And that's what that that was my position. And how, how would that happen? Well, you know, everybody that uh, everybody that worked there, including the manager, I had the opportunity to, to take the test, to become the manager, to become the worker, whatever, but they were public sector workers, they were unionized. That should have been the position. But it, I have got a picture of them all hanging around there. I, I try to look for it today. But that, 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 that was just classic for me, that they hadn't a clue. And the workers who they should have been talking to, especially there was so-called Marxists and leftists among them, the workers they should have been talking to were sitting at table on their own, looking glum, quite naturally because they were out of work and they weren't sure if they were going to get paid that's just a little bit of my history there up there my my buddy jack who who, who um played a very very important role in that struggle i we, we really should do uh, uh, do a little more about about uh, that struggle and what went on in that struggle because the left groups undermined that huge movement back then in 2010 called the march 4th, march 4th movement just like they do so often as they're all enter a movement and compete each other for recruits and the movement is secondary anyway that's just a little bit of history and, uh, richard Mellon, that's me i'm sorry i'm shaking I'm trying to shut the phone off
Hey folks, I just want to say if you like or um, uh, agree with or find the the contents of this video uh, interesting, please like it and share it on YouTube and Facebook. The algorithms aren't good to stuff like this. All right. Thank you.